I'm in El Zawa. Here he is, said to be one of the chief masterminds behind the 9-11 attacks here in lower Manhattan as well as Washington. 21 years now after the fact, he has been brought to justice by U.S. forces. The carefully coordinated mission targeted the top al-Qaeda terrorist safe house in Afghanistan. A drone dropping two Hellfire missiles on the Kabul compound of Ayman al-Zawahiri Sunday as he sat outside on his balcony. It took 36 hours to secure confirmation that justice had been done. One week ago, after being advised that the conditions were optimal, I gave the final approval to go get him. The Egyptian-born doctor had been among America's worst enemies and one of the FBI's most wanted terrorists. The right-hand man of Osama bin Laden rose to power in the 1990s. Al-Zawahiri helped develop and carry out the worst terrorist attack on America nearly 21 years ago, among many others worldwide. He carved a trail of murder and violence against American citizens, American service members, <clears throat> American diplomats, an American interest. For months, U.S. intelligence kept surveillance of his house, even constructing a 3D model to bring to President Biden. But unlike bin Laden's 2011 kill mission in Pakistan, there were no U.S. forces on the ground. The Al-Qaeda network had been severely crippled, and despite a 20-year war in Afghanistan, he remained in power until now. One of the American casualties was Lieutenant Michael Murphy of Long Island. Michael would be extremely proud of this since his whole uh, persona was Murph the Protector. So um, absolutely, he would be he would be overjoyed. 9-11 families also feeling a sense of relief. I think we're in a step towards the right direction, but I personally won't have full peace until I know that other families won't be subject to this kind of terrorism again in the future. As the Al-Qaeda terrorist network has been severely crippled in the past few years with barely any logistical power or finances. Now almost every person who was involved in the 9-11 attacks or was part of the planning has been captured or killed. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.